going on guys and gals? Sanitary103, thanks for watching yet another video. So in today's installment, I'm gonna personally share with you my essential five tips to help alleviate muscle soreness. So let's get it started. Now I love working out, but unfortunately, one of the side effects, and it's inevitable, is that you're gonna get sore, muscle soreness. You can get all this tightness in the shoulders, and the back, and the legs. And a quick newsflash for you guys, as you get older, and as I get older, it's gonna be even more common, so that's where these tips come into play. So the first tip that I'm gonna go over is to take hot baths. It feels really, really good. It's pretty self-explanatory. You go to your bathtub, crank up the water. Don't make it too, too hot to where it's gonna burn you, but start off with a little warm and then gradually increase it. Even add some bubbles if you'd like. It'll help alleviate a lot of the knots and the tension in your back, and it can also help you with your headaches. This has happened to me before where you know I'm all tensed up, took a nice little hot bath, just relaxed, closed my eyes for about 15-20 minutes, and I didn't feel the stiff and my headache went away. The second tip to help alleviate muscle soreness is to get massages. Now I must admit, I'm not a very high maintenance person. I, I don't like to spend that much money, but I've always uh, wondered and always said to myself, if I ever were to like hit the lottery or you know just have a lot of money to burn and not worry about it, one thing that I would get would be a personal uh, massage therapist, a deep tissue massage, because I love uh, massages. However, let's fast forward to the real world. Deep tissue massages, at least here on the West Coast, for one session about an hour, it's gonna run you at least 90 to $100, and that's not including gratuity, so it can run you $120. Who's got that type of money to be burning a hundred plus dollars a week, even if you get one a week? I personally don't. If you do, then good for you. But if you can't get a deep tissue massage from a professional once a week or you just don't have the money, hopefully you have a significant other or somebody to just give you a nice little massage. It doesn't have to be as thorough as a specialist but even just a little bit every day or every couple days it's definitely going to help the knots in your back not be as tight the longer you go without a massage the tighter your knots are going to become so if you get a little at a time it's going to keep it you know you might still have a little bit of a knot but it's not going to feel as intense when the person's pressing on you and if you don't have a significant other or you don't have anyone to help you give you a massage you know just a little rub right here you know, especially if you're at work and at an office job, your neck's hurting, you know, just kind of move it around a little bit. Just massage yourself, you know. So if you're doing this by yourself, a great combo is to go after a long day at work. Follow essential tip number one, get that hot bath. And then right after you're done with that hot bath, your muscles are really um, relaxed and then get a massage. That has been very, very beneficial and you're going to thank me in the long run. Tip number three is I have a product in my hand right here. I did a review on this uh, a while back. If you're interested in that, I'll put a link somewhere right here. But this is the Icy Hot Medicated uh, No Mess. There's different uh, forms of this Icy Hot. They come in different like packages. This one I love because it's like a glue stick. See that? And it's just uh, comprised of menthol, I believe. Yeah, it's a topical agent. And, you know, I'm not going to do it right now, but you just basically spread it right here a little bit right here and you're good to go. I typically do it, you know, early morning, uh, a lot of times early in the morning, especially when the weather is cold, uh, your muscles are really tight. And I applied this on the lower back or wherever um, you have pain. So the Icy Hot No Mess Applicator, you can find that at most regular stores. So um, definitely inquire about that. And that's tip number three. Tip number four to help alleviate the muscle soreness is to take some over-the-counter um, anti-inflammatories. Now, I personally don't like to take this route right off the bat. I like to try to, you know, stay the natural route as best as possible. But sometimes if you're following tips one through three and those are not working, this might help help you out a little bit. And this is just, you know, regular acetaminophen or ibuprofen works well. Just make sure you follow the directions and uh, be very careful, especially with ibuprofen, because if you take too much, it can have a negative impact on the lining of your stomach. So be very careful, but every once in a while, some over the counter, it should be okay. And last but not least, if you've been subscribed to my channel, you've probably seen this before, some of my videos. Right here, what is this? The good old magic weapon right here. This is the uh, foam roller right here. And this one, got it on target.com so go to target.com and you see that right here 
this is a go fit 18 inch foam roller this has been a lifesaver if you want to see some videos on how to use this foam roller um, I'll put a link somewhere right here and or in the description box but this is great you just put it I can't really demonstrate right now but you gotta trust me on this it helps take out a lot of the knots in your back and a lot of local gyms actually have some of these uh, foam rollers so the next time you're at a gym and in certain areas if you see this give it a try and you'll probably thank me later so that's about my time for now I hope this video was very very informative and I hope these five tips will help you alleviate a lot of that nagging muscle soreness if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up be sure to also check out all my other videos on my main channel I also have healthy recipes I have home workouts gym footage I have personal challenge uh, videos for motivation. I got the works, enough with all that plugging. I'll see you guys in a few days, bye. This is a chicken teriyaki. This is about uh, eight ounces. I uh, measured it, organic uh, green beans, and then the brown rice right here for both of these meals.